explain myself. Hey Cal Bears, I'm Brooke Lasowski with Cal TV Sports. I'm here with senior shortstop Jasmine Jackson on Cal Softball after their victory 5-3 against University of Utah here at Levine Fricky Field. So firstly, Jasmine, congratulations on your win. Thank you, thank you. And even scoring a run yourself, yeah, super exciting. Awesome. Um, so what were your initial thoughts on today's performance? So on today's performance, um, I guess we didn't come out with the right game plan. Um, and we were thrown kind of a curveball with uh, the umpire's calling of the game. So immediately we made an adjustment, which I thought was great. Uh, we started to take more pitches and be more disciplined in the box, and then things started happening for us. So that was really good. So in the bottom of the fifth inning, mm -hmm. crazy inning, bases are loaded, two of your teammates got hit from mm -hmm. a pitch and had to walk. Mm -hmm. um, it's your turn up to bat. What is going on through your mind with it still being tied 0-0? Yeah, so my initial th thoughts are, okay, she's throwing wild, she's hit two, two people, which obviously rattles the pitcher a lot because she's trying to throw her best stuff and if it's not working she's in a deeper hole than I am so mm -hmm. I went up there very relaxed looking for my pitch to hit um, my teammates before me set me up um, getting on base and then showing me that obviously she's throwing a lot of balls mm -hmm. so um, I was actually very relaxed and for some reason there was a catcher's <laughs> interference which worked out in my favor yeah. so that was great. So on top of Cal softball, you're actually also on the U.S. national softball team. So how do you compare these two teams, and is there one thing that you've learned from one team that you bring to the other, or what's that? Yeah, so international softball is way different than college softball. College softball is way different than international, and there's right. definitely things I bring to both. So I learn a lot of softball IQ from them, things that I just wouldn't have thought of or wouldn't have ever known, and I bring that back here, and from here, um, a lot of what I bring there is my reps that I get on the field because once you're graduated, you don't, you don't get to play every day like we right. do right now. So um, I try to be as experienced or get as much experience as I can when I'm here. So with being a senior on the Cal softball team, mm -hmm. you're almost done, you're graduating in a couple mm -hmm. weeks. Yes. What is your favorite Cal softball memory while being here? So the first one that came to mind was actually when we were playing Utah here, I think my sophomore year. So. Um, Kind of the same situation with bases loaded, except that we were in the bottom of the seventh and we were down by, I think, three or something like that. And I luckily hit one over the outfielder's head. I hit a walk off. It was like my first walk off ever. Um, oh, so exciting! Yeah, it was a really cool. It was a really cool memory for me. But yeah. So on top of graduating from the number one public university in the mm -hmm. world, you are also graduating with the Haas Business Degree, which is top ten in the world. So what are your plans after graduation? So right after graduation, I'm going to play for the U.S. national team this summer. So that's my immediate plans. Um, hopefully, I can ride that out all the way till Tokyo 2020 and hopefully no make deal. the Olympics. <laughs> yeah, and then um, after that, then then you know make a little bit of money. But yeah, we'll, we'll see up until then. USA is the focus right now. So just a little fun fact for you guys, Jasmine and I actually went to high school together here in San Jose at Archbishop Mitty High School. So we're going to sign off a little different today and support all of our teams. Mm -hmm. You ready? Yep. All right. Go, go Monarchs, Monarchs, go Bears, and go, go USA. USA.